Well, me and my dad were driving down the road and we passed a playground that was old and run down. And I just looked at it and decided I wanted to build a playground. And our city needed one at our uh, park. Well, we had to get it approved by the city first of all because they didn't want to put it on their uh, land in the front. They wanted to put it in the back where it wouldn't be seen. So it was kind of a challenge to get them to cooperate. And then after we got that, we had to plan out how we're going to raise the money to uh, fund the project. Well, after nearly a year of fundraising, we had uh, finally accumulated enough money to buy the equipment. And it took several months of construction and hard labor. We had to call several people in to try to help all community service, of course. Once I got the project completed, one, uh, the whole community started to embrace the project. I like how they painted yeah. the symbol. That looks really good. Remember how we uh, had the house burned down just as we were getting going along good on this? Yeah, that was a tough time. I'm standing here on the front porch of what used to be the LaCroix's home. Eli's room is right here at the front of the house. He looked through what used to be a window when he saw the blaze. There was flames here, and uh, he went back out, came into the living room where I was at, and he, he just said, Dad, the porch is on fire. Within 15 minutes, the house looked like this. Ray says Eli was calm in the midst of the emergency. The soon-to-be Eagle Scout went to the back of the house and woke up his mother and sister. But helping out others is nothing new for Eli. For his Eagle Scout project, the 16-year-old is building a playground in Rogersville. Two constructions isn't fun. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Tough getting both going, but uh, it came along really good. It looks good now. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. The good mayor, mayor really appreciated uh, getting this done. Yeah. It's good to have it done though.